welcome back to the sickness. I guess that's where it's at right now. I'm here at Snitch Walk. I live in a community here in Coachella Valley called Spanish Walk, and uh, I feel like I'm I'm living on set. I'm I'm you know I'm living on set, and I, I'm pretty good. I'm almost on cue with these uh, with predicting these crisis actors. Uh, they're not very good at what they do, but uh, they get paid. So it, I mean, it's not a stand-up job that they're doing. But as long as I guess if you know, if uh, the machine can put a body out there, <laughs> it's gonna do what it does, right? I mean, come on, you know, this is like. I wonder if these these trolls even know, you know, they're not even good crisis actors, you know. Uh, there's just they're about no action, you know, very little, very little life force left in these things. I don't even know what to call them, you know. Anywho, yeah, the sickness is going around though. That's for sure. I was uh, I was over downtown Palm Springs a few days a few days ago and yeah the cult activity the I have I guess I have a cult following you know it's pretty it's just heavy it's just down there it's like I get in the car I go down there take care of some errands down there and I get back and I don't know who was talking about this but I, I heard it mentioned close to the time that I had felt it as well as it is this this sense of being depleted, the sense of energy just totally being removed after you enter uh, the cult of the crowd. It just, it's like an energy sponge and these vampires um, they know when it's feeding time and I just you know, you gotta kind of know where you're going and what you're gonna get with where you're going, I guess. You know, I, I know where I, I know what my grounds are, you know, and, and I just feel bad because it's just living in the city and the place that I live in River, Riverside. It's like a, it's like a Hollywood set. It's just, everybody's on cue to just hit their points, hit their mind control points. And yeah, a lot of it's mind control. They're just, it would be like, I would say there, there's a good amount of them that are consciously aware that they're involved, but there's people that just drive around with their headlights on, you know, and, and, but it's just, I just feel like, I, I, um, you know, if their standard for, for being a human is being a part of the, you know, the mind collective, I guess what they're offended by is the fact that there are a few people to them that I guess they would define as all too, all too human, and, you know, I really believe that you can't really be all too human, you, you can be fulfilled or completed in, in you know, right out of the package with full human expression and, and desire and motivation and, and livelihood, I don't know if libation is a word, but it, it should be like a life exuberance before you know the cult likes to suck all the energy out of you and I just you know I guess these crisis actors enjoy what they do they get paid for it but uh, beyond that we're just gonna move we're gonna keep moving here um, you know go to the existential way if you're a sinner you need to go to the existential way and most people listening are um, just go just go to it, you know. God's still going to use you. He'll break you from whatever you need to be broken from. Just like he's been conquering me from the war within. It's just everyone's got to go through the examination by choice or by force. God God likes to, he tends to conquer in love. So, um, you know, be thankful. Um, beyond that, yeah. Um, also, don't forget, guys, go to uh, www.cafepress.com forward slash Supernatty Life Threads, 
and get yourself some apparel for this upcoming winter. Stay warm out there. Um, I personally, I live in the desert and it's it's just right right now. It's starting to cool down, but um, you know who knows the the, the 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 temperature and the climate changes here in a, in a moment's notice, and um, you know I'm not a I'm not a weather forecaster, but I will tell you when the weather is warmer. So. All right, so, yeah, where do you where do you go? Like, okay, so there's a lot of people just kind of spilling their hearts out, giving their you know half glass kind of empty testimonies, you know, right now, and I just want to see that and pray that their vulnerabilities aim towards the hope of seeing life with a, you know, half glass kind of full deal, you know, instead of a glass half empty kind of deal. And, you know, we're just at that low point, that trans transitioning state of the seasons and, you know, with, with the spiritual climate really driving this, this political climate and, and, and the politicization of humanity, um, there is a lot of tension, and, and the, the problem is that the, the tension has just been going on and on, and it's been so, it's been, it's just really been so perpetual lately, you know, it's like these endless times, are we, are we, are we facing a breaking point, and, and so many lines have been crossed, so many points you can construe as already have been broken, uh, we're just going further deep into the sickness and it's just <laughs> the it's you know and and I don't know man I feel like I feel like uh I'm in that movie I am legend and 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 there's you know that's it you know and I know a lot of you TIs out there you chosen TIs you just you just feel like you're all out there alone on an island and and you know uh, metaphorically speaking a lot of us are you know we're just out there on a limb we're out there you know I know no man's an island, but but sometimes you know when you get yourself shunned, you'll be out there on an island, and you'll have to uh, readjust. And and with that isolation, it's gonna it's gonna help you face yourself. It's gonna help you face the entirety. Um, you know, with the sickness going on, fortunately, I was one of the lucky ones that God has chosen out to see it for myself. You know. And that's, I, that's what I believe was God's, you know, hope for my life was to be able to see it. And, and I know a lot of you go, you chosen TIs, you see it and you're trying to get it out there. And, um, yeah, it's just what it is right now. It's, it's about maintaining but staying eternally constant. Keeping your, keeping your eye on the prize right now. It's, it's, it's tough. It's, it's. You're kind of forced to be alone because there's nobody that can really relate in this world, in this dimension, and, and really they can't. They're not. These people are being prepared for judgment. Um, I mean, this judgment—they're not going to know what hits them. They—they have no idea of uh, what's coming. The thief that's going to, you know, come in the night and just steal what he, you know, came to steal, and really. You know these these perps don't know what they're playing with. They're playing the they're playing God's game, but God, when he when he when his yes it means yes and his no means no, and it's time that he choose when the time comes that he chooses to honor his word. Um, they're going to be drinking of the cup of his wrath. So just as you know, the bride of Christ is being prepared through this examination process. These, the worlders, you know, these grounders are being prepared for judgment. They're being readied for judgment. They're, they're being, um, cattle prodded around with their, uh, mark of the beast, uh, spiritual activity, which is defining who they are with their perping, their gang stalking. They're being, you know, getting ready, you know, God is getting ready to just, thresh the thresh the floor with his sweeping sickle I think that's what the scripture is he's going to thresh the floor of the earth 
with this sickle. And that'll be pro that'll be done by one of his angels. I forget which one. But nonetheless, you know. And, and what's interesting is I've really been I've been reading this uh, book of Enoch, and it's very insightful um, to what he's seen and what he was witness to and what he gave provocation to and and supposedly these watchers we have these watchers here these watchers it's it's not only a spirit but it's a bloodline these watchers initially petitioned Enoch to go to God and ask for repentance for for sleeping with the women of the earth and God refused he said no you're going to be eternally damned and I think when God cut him off at that point, or well, he did cut him off at that point, um, they moved they moved into more of that sickness. And that's when it really began. The sickness had already begun, but now, looking at this time, and, and, and Enoch talking about a, 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 an end generation, and I know I've talked about how every generation has always believed, every believing generation has throughout history has believed it was the last one and and it's important to believe that though everyone should live like they're the last generation and exist in that manner there's a there's a hope there's an urgency there's an anxiety but there's a there's a spiritual progress to that to, towards always having the mindset of wanting and willing to usher in God's kingdom to present it at hand if God has that you know if his will you know for your life is to do that and that's that's why I believe it's important, but Enoch, oh, he also talked about an, a final generation, an actual generation, which, you know, hoping, like, like once again, I hope, I hope my generation, you know, because something's got to give. I hope something's really got to give, and um, these watchers are out of hand. They're, they're the law, they're, they're pushing... They're the lawless ones, and, and the spirit of who they are is being driven into the politicizing of humanity and, and really because there's no actual Holy Spirit in establishment humanity um, what anti-spirit or even anti-Christ spirit does is it is it needs to a lack of spirit is always like a politicizing of what one doesn't know so you can see that they're trying to put all these like they don't know how to they don't know how to define what they don't know so they have to label they have to they have to misconstrue label um and, and falsely you know bear, bear false witness against the chosen of god and um hopefully enoch was right in that this is the time this time is just like man any any day now lord you know and, and really what i'm getting at is that whether it whether, you know, the times continue, there still is this endless perpetuation of not only gang stalking, but the earthly construct and the established order of things continuing with the idea of the Watchers, they don't want us here, but they need us here because they need to um, leech energy off of us. They're, they're trying to you know, so there are aspects of, of, of humanity which are their spiritual food source, and then there are, there are aspects of humanity which are their actual or physical food source. And so, we definitely are, have a conflict of interest in terms of our premise for existing. And, there, you know, our premise to them, for us, is, is a means to an end. Like, they... Uh, they want to use us and get as much as they can out of us before destroying us. Um, and I really believe this was not so much a vision, but a premonition that had come to me for the fact that when the kingdom comes, it's going to be a total vibrational shift. And um, just as in the movie They Live, that shift... Will will be changing people's eyes over, and 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 the way they see 
interdimensionally, and then um, we'll be able to see them in actuality for who they are. Not like right now, of course, I mean, there are those, you know, including myself, who can see the exoskeleton of the fallen nature of, of who the Watchers are and what genetic spirit slash genetic expression that they that they express out to the public in this dimension. But there will be a day when we'll be able to see like the spirit of who they are, the, the reptilian, the lizard fallout of who they are with a full clarity. And that's when humanity, they're trying to get rid or dismiss humanity before that happens so they can, they can take over because, because the shift is coming no matter what. So they're trying to get rid of us. They're trying to use us to the fullest extent, to the to the, the the Gentiles. What is it? The cup of the Gentiles, or the the church of the Gentiles is filled up, you know. But that's just the premonition I had. Is there these 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 things are trying to use us up for not only a food and energy source, but they want to get rid of us too. They're forced to get rid of us because of the the return of the Elohim. And, when this kingdom is ushered in, there will be an interdimensional shift, and it will give a lot of humans the eyes to see who they are, just like in the movie They Live. And it was a, it was kind of a premonition of this knowledge build up over time. And once you do this, because because the the eternal existential life is a process. Once you get to this point, but once the shift happens, humans will actual humans will be able to see who they are, and then there's going to be a, a direct conflict, you know, a conflict of interest. So. That's where we're at, you know. And I believe to us, we're just taking back our rightful place. That which was promised to us from the beginning is to rule and reign over this dimension, the third dimension. Um, aside from the fact that all other dimensions will, I believe, will be completed as well. Uh, for God's eternal reign, you know, and authority, spiritual authority. So, alright guys, till the next one. Um, more to come. Alright, stay tuned. Godspeed.